Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. Jorge, Carlos, how are you today? I am fine, I'm feeling very good today. Nice, fantastic, that's the attitude. So, Carlos and Jorge, welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and today we're going to do a review of the previous knowledge check, and we will also be covering Present Perfect. All right, present hello, Gio. Perfect. Good evening. All right, guys, so as far as yesterday's knowledge check, do you have any questions about it? Um, Were you able to complete it? And or, only, only the four, uh, point thirteen is missing for me. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the one that, that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So, Carlos and Gio, were you able to finish it? Yes. Yes. All right. Carlos. Hola, teacher. Uh, fíjese que voy por la cinco punto cuatro. Point four. All right, very good. Bastante adelantado. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's the one that we're covering today. Esa es la que vamos a cubrir ahora. All right. So in that case, Jorge has not finished it. Has not finished it. Let's go ahead and help him out a little. All right. So let me go ahead and share. I already have it answered, but let me tell you something. I have issues with one. Gio, did you get them all correct? And you, Carlos? Uh, which one? Uh, 4.13. Uh, number one, two, three, four, five. Number one. Number one. Clark is the tall guy where, uh, wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. All right, very good. And did you include the period at the end? Yes. And period. What, what about the dash? Uh, there is a problem because uh, and the first time uh, it, it wasn't correct because bottom, it was with three T. Mm, bottom. I got it. Good eye, sir. Uh -huh. You have a good eye. Yep, I got it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, so you see, everyone helps everyone. So, Jorge, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and review 4.13 4 real quick. Were you able to get the first answer? ¿Puedo escuchar el número uno, Jorge? Eh, sí, ahí estuve tratando de escuchar que decía uh -huh. lo que dijo Gio. All right. Mm -hmm. Solo que me quedé cuando dijo eh, que tuvo problema con el dash because eh, en la palabra bottom, uh -huh. como que tuvo ligera complicación. Okay. Pero lo demás okay. ya, no lo, ya lo demás ya no lo agarré. Ah, es que solo eso es que tiene tres T eh, y se usan dos. ¿no? Ah, exactamente. Uh -huh. es ah, eso es. I didn't get that point because I copy pasted. <laughs> That's why I was not able to get it. Good idea, good clinic guy. So, uh, thank you very much. What about number two? Does anybody have the answer? Number two. Number two. Adam and Luz. Luz? I, I thought that is Luis, but it's Luz. <laughs> Luz? Aren't a good looking couple talking to Tom? All right, let me check. They are. Uh, Adam and Luz, Luis, are the talking to Tom? Mm -hmm. Are the good looking couple they talking are, to Tom? Mm -hmm. Adam and Luis. In the meantime, while you do that, Kevin, were you able to finish? No, I did. No? All right. So yeah. let's go ahead and do it right now. Moises and Jorge Alberto, did you finish 4.13? Uh, me not yet, teacher. No. All right, so let's do something. I already have it finished. 
So I won't be able to tell you what it is. I can help you, but I won't be able to give you everything. So what I'm going to do is 9.06. I'm going to open the break rooms so you can help each other for five minutes. And when we come back, we go to the audio for Present Perfect, okay? Okay. 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 All right, let's do this. Okay. Quick. All right, opening the room right now. All right, guys, I already opened the rooms. Go ahead and accept everything, please. So, hello, Xiaomi. All right, there we go. Don't, don't worry, because in the time. The important is to Exactly. The important well, thing is for you to do it. Okay. The exercise. They are, they are Adam and Lou and Lois. Uh -huh. And Lois. Hello, Ronnie. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? <clears throat> doing good, doing good. Happy to be here. So, okay. Okay. my recommendation will be for you to help each other. Is, is the exercise 413? 4.13. 4.13. Okay, this is standing by the okay. I'm ready. Okay. Fantastic. Um, okay, number one is Clark is the tall, tall guy, the tall guy uh, wearing, wearing a bottom down shirt. Let me see the example, please. Just make sure that, is the, that no. you take into consideration that button is written incorrectly. Is with double T, not with double T. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go check how the other group is doing. Okay. 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 Try to do this as fast as possible because we only got four more minutes. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Number two. El guion. Sí. Sí. Mm -hmm. How do you say guion in English? Guion slash? No, slash is. Slash is the guitar. Dash. 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 Slash is the other one. You can have forward slash and backward slash. Esos son mm -hmm. las diagonales. Uh -huh. Forward, la que va para adelante, y backward, la que va para atrás. Okay. Yeah. How, how are you doing? Which exercise are you working on? What number? And number two. Number two. Okay, a mí la primera me sale mal. Bueno, la segunda también. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Some people like Kevin and G already have the answer right here. Mm -hmm. okay. Clark is the tall guy wearing a bottom town. Clark, repeat. Clark is the tall guy mm -hmm. wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Mm -hmm. Wearing a bottom down. Bottom down. Shirt mm. and cargo pants. Ah, que tiene que ir el guión. Sí. Yes. The dash. 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 <laughs> dash. So remember, we only got three minutes left for this activity, okay? 
Oh, okay. I thought okay. it was nice, but let's try to do it as quick as possible. Okay. Okay. Yesenia. Hi. Yo no sé qué están hablando. Answer the knowledge, knowledge check 4.3. 13. 4.4. 4.15. Mm -hmm. Okay. Claire is. All right, you got three minutes. Let me check on the other group, all right? I'll be right back. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Yes, I am ready. Danny, Lenin is the young girl. The young, in a, in a, younger, young, younger, younger in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. In, in a, in a. Uh, she is baja, baja suprimir. Baja por line. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, you can comment. Yeah. 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 But I'm good, I'm good. This is my normal face. People think I'm tired, but I am. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> like the Hulk, right? That's my secret. I'm always tired. I think that you are tired. You are human. Yes, sometimes I am. Okay, I got it. Number four. Jessica is the... Yes. You got one minute, okay. guys. Let me go ahead and check. Well, uh, a minute. Okay. okay. Okay, Jorge. You do it, the four. Yes. Hello, guys. Ya casi, ya casi. <laughs> almost, almost. 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 Uh -huh. Almost. 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 Okay. It's okay. Downward. Younger. Me sale mal la primera porque Claire is the tall guy wearing a bottom. No. Wearing y la W va mayúscula. No. Is no. Y va en el punto, ¿no? Guy. Así, este, así como está en el WhatsApp, no, no lo ves. Ahí. Es... No. Um, no Clark ves. is the tall guy wearing a bottom con el jean. Dash. 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 Remember about the triple T. Ajá. Pero es que eso sí lo dan copy paste. Yes, I'm, I'm checking yeah. right here. Uh -huh. I'm checking the WhatsApp group right now, and yep, it is there. There is the tall guy. All right, guys. In a few minutes, I'm going to go back to the main session, all right? Okay. Thank you. All right, so let's try to do it. Tour book. Okay. <laughs> no. okay. Number four? Number four, yes. Number four. Jessica is the attractive woman eating to the left of
All right, guys. So, welcome back. Welcome, Yesenia, Marcela. We're going to have the rest of the people in a few seconds. All right, guys. So, you had time to check the, the knowledge check. If you notice, the only thing that you are doing is eliminating the subject and the verb and the verb to be between the two tenses. Did you pay attention to that little detail? Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Fantastic. So now let's get down to business. Remember what is the meaning of that expression? Let's get yeah. down to business. A lo yes. que yes. yes. There we go. Me exactly. I mean, practice, you know, is, is good too, but <laughs> so let me go ahead and share the screen and we will go with this. <clears throat> I'm going to share it with you. Five. Five point eight. All right. So there we go. You know the drill. Do you know that expression? You know the drill? You know the drill. Me suena. Yo he escuchado. Uh -huh. Anybody? You know the no. drill? No. No. I guess so. Exactly. So it's like you already know what to do because you have done it before. Do you know the drill? Uh -huh. You know the drill? Ya saben que hacer. So let's do it. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this session, we will learn about present perfect. In this, this lesson, session, we will learn about, about present perfect. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. In this session, in this, in this session, 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 we will learn about present perfect. We, we learn, learn about, about, about present about perfect. Present perfect. About. Mm -hmm. If you notice here, we're going to link it. Learn about. Learn, learn about. about. Learn, learn about. about. Learn about. Learn present about. perfect is put in practice during the conversation. Present perfect is put in the conversation. Exactly. So now I need a volunteer to read, please. Come on, don't argue about being the volunteer. No se peleen. Okay. <laughs> this session, we'll, in this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in the practice during the conversation. Uh -huh. It's put in practice during the conversation. Good job, sir. All right, let's go ahead and do this quick. Let's get the new vocabulary, linking words and everything. And then we go to the rest. Let's do this. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh. Well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Two. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot. All right, so say it with me. Let me get this out of here. Say it with me. It's great to see you, Todd. It's, it's great, great, great to see, to see, you, see you, Todd. You, Todd. See, you, Todd. See, see you, Todd. See you, Todd. Mm -hmm. um, normally, guys, the why, we're not going to say it like you. you. It's like you. 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 See you. 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 It's great to see you, Todd. It's great to see you, see you, see you Tom. Tom. Very good. Nice change. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? Okay. How do you say, es bueno verte? It's great to see you. Great to see you. See you. See you. Very good. Um, what is the meaning of, have you been in New Orleans long? Uh, ¿Qué tanto? 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 ¿Qué tanto?
there we kind of go. Okay. Has estado en New Orleans por bastante tiempo. Uh, es que eh, ahí el, el bien es el, el, el pasado um, participio. There you go. Correct. Correct. So let's continue. Just a few days. Just a few days. Day. 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 And you link it. Just a, just a few days. Just a few days. Just a few days. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really, really excited, excited to be here. 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 I can't wait to show you the city. I can't, I can't wait, wait to show you, show you the city. city. Uh -huh. Here we're going to say, show you the city. I can wait. I can, I can wait, wait. wait. Uh -huh. to show you the city. To show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? All right, very good. Um, how do you say mostrar la ciudad? Show you, to show, show you the city. Show you the city. Show the city. And how do you say estoy muy emocionado de estar aquí? I'm very excited I'm be here. Excited to be here. I'm really excited to be to be here. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here. Like me, every night that I log in with you guys, I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> All right. So yeah. let's continue. Yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. Already yeah I've already been, been to one. 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 If you notice here, there is the letter, well, the subject, I, apostrophe, V-E. So we're going to pronounce it, I've. I've. And we think it, I've already been to one. 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 Oh, well, how about a river road tour? Oh, oh well, well how about a revival tour? River tour. How about? How about? And this one will be. If you notice, it has a W, which is a consonant, and we say how what? How about? How about? How about? A river boat tour. A river boat tour. A river boat tour. A tour. Correct. Oh, I've already done that too. Oh, oh, oh I've already I've done already that too. I've already. I've already. I've already. already done that too. Done that too. And in this one, you gotta explode it, guys. Tienen que explotarlo. Two. 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 Mm -hmm. Two. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot, lot of fun. They are a lot, they're of, a lot, lot of, fun. of fun. Here, there's some, I missed the A. They, they are, are a lot of fun. They, they are, are a lot, lot of fun. fun. How do you say some muy divertidos? They are a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Ya lo hice? They are a lot of fun. O ya lo he hecho? I've already done that. I already done that. I already. I've already done that. All right, very good. I already done that. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, actually that's how I got here today. Actually, 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 what do you think is the meaning of actually? De actualmente o de hecho. De hecho, de hecho. De hecho, in fact, it's very similar to the in fact. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So many people, and this is very common, guys, many people get confused with actually, and we think it is actualmente. But actually, it's more like de hecho. De hecho. Y esto es una de las cosas que se comete normal, porque nosotros lo asociamos al español, pero sería actually de hecho. All right. Uh, nowadays is actualmente. Nowadays, nowadays. como... En estos días, actualmente, yes. You can use it for both. All right. So, Will, is there anything you want to do? Well, is there anything you want to do? Do you want to do? Do you want to do? Is there anything? We're going to link it. Vowel and vowel sound. Is there anything you want to do? Is there anything you want to do? 
There we go. You know, I, I, I really just want to take it easy. You know, I really, you know, I really just, just want to take it easy. You know, I really just want to take it easy. 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 What is the meaning take of take it, it easy? Calm down. Calm down. There you go. Relax the cake. <laughs> <laughs> like we normally know in El Salvador. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. There you go. All righty. So, any new vocabulary here, guys? Okay, you can find. Riverboat. Uh, riverboat. Mm -hmm. Anybody that can mention what a riverboat is? Riverboat. It's in the water. That's right. It's a little boat. And they actually, like, like we do here in, uh, what is the name of this place? Which is very common to do it. Venecia. Venecia. Uh, yeah, that's too far. <laughs> that's too far. <laughs> Here in El Salvador, we go to Suchitoto, and, and I think lunches. that we can have, there you go, we can have a, a riverboat tour, too. Mm. El agua Cuatepeque. El Fango. El Fango. Cuatepeque Lake. And it's very expensive, actually, to take a riverboat tour here. Yeah. It's about 30, it's about 30 <laughs> it's bucks. About, it's about 30 bucks. And a lot of gas. Huh? 30 uh, minutes. Yeah, it's expensive. Yes. <laughs> All right, so someone actually... Underline. How do you say subrayar, guys? Underline. 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 Reading. Who can tell me what reading is? Reading. Is the past of right. Is the past participle. Past participle. The right. The right. 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 Road. Reading. Reading. Anything else before we move forward? Car. Algo más antes que nos movamos? Um, big now or be quiet forever. <laughs> All right, so let's continue, guys. 5.2, lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. In this session, we will study the going perfect with already and perfect with already and yet. Already and yet. Already and yet. 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 Now, this one, guys, and I'm going to use Spanish. Generalmente, nosotros la Y la pronunciamos muy fuerte, como que fuera en español. Decimos yet. Yet. Okay? Pero se pronuncia como yet. una I yet. y cualquier yet. letra que venga después. Por ejemplo, en you no vamos a decir yo you. or you. Vamos a decir you. 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 Como en esta, vamos a decir yet. 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 So, si le suena mucho como yet, it's incorrect. It gotta be yet. 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 All right, let's continue. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect. Ask, Ask and answer, answer questions using, question using the present perfect. Using the perfect regular and with regular. With regular and irregular past participles. Irregular. 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 And irregular. Irregular. Irregular and irregular. All right, so say it with me all together. In this Perfect. session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask mm -hmm. and answer and questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. Go, let's do this. In this, In this session, session, we will, we will study, study the present perfect with already and yet. Already and yet. Yes. And answer questions. Yes. 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 Estar uniendo sonidos, a respetar los cosas. Así que vamos siempre a tratar de escalar un peldaño en cada clase, ¿ok? Um, I need a volunteer to read this, please. 
Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? <laughs> okay, In very good. This we always put the question perfect. You are ready and yes. As a new word question using the press the present perfect with the regular and regular past perfect. All right, good job, Kevin. Thank you very much for being so brave. Gracias por ser tan valiente, Kevin. Good job. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> All right, so guys, esta clase la vamos a dividir en dos. Ok. Por no lo complejo, sino que da bastante para practicar. All right, so hoy nos vamos a, a enfocar, a tratar de enfocarnos en su presente perfecto, en present perfect. Y la clase de mañana vamos a empezar a meter un poquito yet. And already. Una vez ya dominemos bastante el present perfect. ¿Vamos? Okay. All right. Now, I do need you to watch the video so we can be all on the same page, okay? Now, everyone, please mute your microphones. There we go. Hi. In this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes. All right. So I'm going to pause it right here, guys, because I want you to have a better idea on present perfect. I have a question. Is this confusing? What do you Just think? Just a guys? bit. Yes. Just a bit. Okay, guys. So let me make your life a lot easier. Grammar has different uses, but this one, we are only going to use it for experiences. Experiences in your life. So, how do you say, ya has estado en un club de jazz? Have you been to have a jazz been club? Have you been to a jazz club? Okay, very good. Has llamado a casa últimamente? Correct, lately. Um, ¿Ya comieron la cena? Have they eaten dinner yet? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, very good. So we're going to start practicing right now with the structure. But before that, let's go ahead and check the contractions. Say it with me. I've. 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 I've.
Yo me he puesto bolo. I have been drunk. 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 I have, and we have I have. I have. I have drunk. Gotten. I have gotten. Gotten, gotten drunk. Gotten drunk. Mm -hmm. Because we have uh, the the one the verb is get 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 got get got get get got got so how do you say he estudiado muy duro I have I studied I have studied studied hard studied hard hard how do you say um, espero que no tenga ninguna Maritza en el grupo. Maritza sí, sí, sí. se ha bañado todos los días. Maritza, Maritza, has has take a shower. Has Maritza has, 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 correct? Taken a shower. Taken a shower. Every day. Every day. Every morning. Every day. So that is correct. Good for Maritza. That's good for her. <laughs> so, how do you say? Nosotros hemos participado en clase. Um, we have, we have, have, we have, we have, we have, we have, As you can see, ¿se acuerdan ese montón de reglas que tenemos? Sí, las podemos ocupar. Pero para que lo tengan ustedes más fácil, guys, el present perfect se ocupa para experiencias. Una situación que empezó en el pasado, porque si es una experiencia, ustedes la tuvieron que haber o no hecho. En el no. pasado, y en el presente, puede o no puede volver a suceder. Now, un tip que les puedo dar acerca de Present Perfect es que no nos importa cuándo lo hicieron. ¿Ok? Si nos importara cuándo tuvimos esa experiencia, ya sería pasado simple. Yo fui a clases ayer. No es lo mismo decir yo fui a clases que yo he ido a clases. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Sí, porque en, en el pasado, en el pasado perfecto estaríamos ocupando la verde de tiempo. En este caso solamente lo ocupamos como pasado. Lo ocupamos como experiencia. Como experiencia. Okay. So, para, para que tengamos un poquito más, y perdón por el español, pero esto quiero que quede muy claro. Aquí nunca vamos a ocupar expresiones de tiempo en el pasado. Nunca vamos a decir I have tried sushi yesterday. ¿Ok? Esto se llama indefinite time, tiempo indefinido. ¿Por qué? Hablamos de experiencia, no de cuándo pasó esa experiencia en particular. ¿All right? Do you think the question, is, the question ya ha sido a uh, Huayua? Have you been? 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 Have you Sí, sí, yes, estado en Mayuba. Yes, yes, I Yes, I was in, in this place. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have. Yes, I been have. Been there. Así right. de sencillo. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um, I have. Uh, no, I have. Punto. ¿Han comido sopa de mondongo? <laughs> no, yes, I, I have. No. Yes, I have. I have. Or no, no, I, I have. don't have. No, I, I haven't. No, I haven't. So, as you can see, me importa su experiencia pero no les estoy preguntando cuándo. All right. Aquí es cuando vamos a ocupar el present perfect. ¿Está claro eso? Sí. Good. Quiero un voluntario que me lo explique, aunque sea en español, porque con estos temas me gusta que quede súper claro. Vamos, no se vayan a tropezar. Ok, vamos a hacer entonces víctima. Jorge, Alberto Lemus, dígame un nombre, 1 al 5. Uf. Del 1 al 10. 4. All right. So, Kevin, number 1. Marcela, number 2. Yesenia, number 3. 
Jorge Mendoza, number four. <laughs> Sorry. That, that's good. Sorry. All right, go ahead and explain to us when to use present perfect in English or Spanish. It's up to you. Uh, in, in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Uh, vamos a ocupar el, el presente perfecto cuando estamos hablando de una experiencia, sin importar en qué tiempo fue hecha, solamente que fue hecha en el... Eh, en el pasado, entonces, pero si es ya con el breve de tiempo, ya dejaría de ser el, el present perfect. Excellent, sir. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Now, in uh, a teacher, pero si es experiencia, ¿por qué se llama present perfect y no past perfect? Porque la pregunta iba a ser en presente. La robó. Ajá. Que, uh, come again, Gio. Eh, es una experiencia pasada que termina en el presente. Algo Exacto. Así. Hasta el día de hoy, en el momento en que nosotros nos preguntan, en ese momento nosotros estamos hablando de la experiencia. Uh -huh. Obviamente para hacer experiencia ya tuvo que haber pasado. ¿Ok? Pero mira, se ve igual que el otro que te enseñé. All right, very good. So, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con esto? Anybody? Por eso he dividido esta mm -hmm. clase en dos, guys. Así que mañana, por favor, conéctense. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and practice a little bit. Let's check the negative structure. Now, we have subject, haven't or hasn't, and past participle. And so, how do you say yo no he probado el sushi? I have not tried sushi. sushi. I haven't tried sushi. Uh -huh. That would be the last one I heard. I haven't tried sushi. How do you say Jorge no ha ido a San Miguel? Very good. Now, en este caso podemos ocupar ya sea been or gone. Con gone, gone. hacemos eh, énfasis al hecho de que fue. Gone. De que fue. Gone. Y con been, hacemos el hecho, hacemos énfasis en el hecho que ha estado ahí. Ha estado ahí. Uh -huh. Exactly. That would be the main difference. Mm -hmm. Con gone, hacemos énfasis que fue. Y con okay. been, énfasis mm -hmm. en que ha estado ahí. All right. So, teacher, cuando, cuando usted pregunta, ¿has ido a que ocupar gone? Cuando has estado, been. There you go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, how do you say, yo no he hecho la tarea? Uh, I haven't. No, I have not. Uh -huh. I haven't. I haven't made the work homework. Do. 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 I haven't Do. 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 Marcela no ha no ha reído Ajá, how do you say that? Marcela no ha hacen smile de okay. okay, very good. O, o cambiémoslo, no importa. Marcela has a smile today. Very good. Marcela has a smile. Mm -hmm. Marcela hasn't smiled today. This web website that you're seeing, I'm going to send it to you. It's okay. pretty much very basic. in un par de ejemplos, but, you know, nothing mm -hmm. too fancy. See? It has a couple of examples. All right. So, how do you say? Uh, let me see. Who's missing? ¿Quién no se ha conectado ahora? Bastantes mm -hmm. personas. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Selina. 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 Bah, all right. La que más bulla hace. Selina. Um, no comments. Selina no, no se ha conectado ahora. 
Teacher is correct. This Selena hasn't logging. Logging now. That's the one. We're gonna use connect, guys. When it's for example to the internet, mm -hmm. to Bluetooth, right? And, and logging is. And logging is when you have to enter your credentials in a website. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, Facebook. You don't mm -hmm. connect to Facebook. You log in to Facebook. Logging. To your email account. You don't connect to your email, not the connectas al, al email. Right? To log in. Te logueas, mm -hmm. por así decirlo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Now, okay. what about the question? Ya para cerrar mm -hmm. la estructura. We're going to use have or has, the subject, and past participle. Okay. Past participle. All right. Perfect. So, how do you ask, teacher? ¿Te has bañado últimamente? How are you? Are you, are you take a shower? How are you? Take a shower. Very good. Take a shower. Taken. Have you taken, have you taken, taken a shower? Taken, taken a shower. Taken a shower. Ultimamente. Lady. 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 So, ask it again. Teacher, have you taken a shower lately? Teacher, you, uh, you, a lady? Are you taking a shower with a lady? Don't say that. My wife is going with to a... kill me. <laughs> 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 no. All right. So, yes, it will be Have you taken a shower lately? Are you taking a shower lately? Lately. Very good. Taking Recuerden shower eso, late. Eso es como un puzzle, un rompecabezas. Quitamos una pieza y ponemos otra. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, ¿cuál sería la respuesta afirmativa? Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have. Yes, I have. La negativa. The real question. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Correct. No, I haven't. Not I. No, but yes, yes, I have. Sí, me he bañado. <laughs> Okay. La, entonces dice, eh, had you taken, take shower, take, take, uh, take, 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 el verbo pasa en uh, taken. Exactly, taking a shower. All right, very good. So the last example that I need from you. Ronnie, example in affirmative, please. Affirmative. Cualquiera, lo que caiga. Are you affirmative? Affirmative. Uh, affirmative. You... Uh -huh. Affirmative. Oh, okay. Have you been in the USA? Mm, very good. Esa es una muy buena pregunta. That's a very good question. Now, remember that the structural okay. piece. Subject, yes, <laughs> how or has, and past participle. Oh. Demole, give it a try. I have chosen you. Okay, very good. Yo te he escogido. I have chosen you. Chosen you. Chosen you. Okay, I need a volunteer you. to give me a negative sentence. <laughs> negative, negative. No volunteers? All right, let me see. Shumara. <laughs> Microphone, show me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, that happens to me too. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. No. You, you haven't say? been uh -huh. in the USA? In the USA, very good. You haven't been in the USA. And show me, how do you say, no he encendido el micrófono? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't turned off the microphone. The microphone. Good job, Shamara. Well done. Well done. <laughs> and the last one. Let me see. Quiero ver a quien veo aquí medio dormido. <laughs> no, you're all awake. Thank you very much for your commitment. Necesito un voluntario. I need a volunteer for the question. Let's do it. Es igual casi no tiene...
Okay, no volunteer. Let me see. Gio, question, please. Question. Um, do you have you known him? Have you known him? Have you known him? Okay. We can say, have you known him before? Ya lo habías conocido antes? Have you known him? Have, have you known, known him before? before? Very good. Uh, have you known him before? All right, guys. So, you... oh. Homework Teacher. for tomorrow. Go ahead. Okay, question. Uh, maybe have you soccer? It's okay. Again? Have you played soccer? Have you played soccer? Yeah, it's a very good question. Very, very good question. Have you played soccer? Has jugado fútbol? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So guys, the homework for today, it will be for you to write down examples, okay? I need to write down five examples in affirmative, five examples in negative, and five examples for questions. Mm -hmm question okay five five and five why because tomorrow as soon as we connect as soon as we log in uh, to the session we are going to break the rooms and we are going to share the homework okay 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 now antes de dejarlo decir que ya son las 10 guys les quiero hacer un comentario la estructura es lo más fácil del idioma solo son 13 Sin embargo, lo que de verdad necesitamos aprender es vocabulario. Right? Siempre les aconsejo que se aprendan por lo menos cinco, días, cinco verbos al día ya conjugados. Por ejemplo, eat, ate, eaten. Y ahí pueden andar uno, unas dos horas con el mismo. Eat, ate, eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Pónganle ritmo, pónganle canción, lo que sea. Pero para que ustedes puedan hablar, tienen que memorizarse verbos. No quieren saber a dónde me los memoricé yo. <laughs> so, I guess. No, no, don't guess, don't guess. <laughs> so, siempre, verbos, guys, vocabulario, que eso es lo que les va a enriquecer su idioma. All right? So, All right. thank you very much, guys. Right. Good luck with the homework. On behalf of Inglés Corporativo, I want to say good night. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'll see you tomorrow to continue with this topic, okay? Teacher, uh, teacher don't, don't forget to send the link. Um, oh, yes, I'll yes. do it right now. Thank you for reminding okay. me. Okay. All right, guys. You. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.